Thank you very much for the uh, invitation. I will start uh, my talk with reminding very, very classical object. This is called classical discriminant. So what is classical discriminant? I mean, um, uh, I consider a polynomial in one variable x. This is f of the polynomial with coefficient a0, a1. And I can consider this uh, expression as an element of the um, a ring, polynomial ring in, in many variables. In, uh, us, for the last one, it, it's wrong, so it should be a n. I just mentioned, uh, notes this. And what is the classical discriminants? It's um, polynomial, irreducible polynomial. Uh, in this ring, irreducible element, which characterized by the property that uh, this polynomial vanish exactly oh, uh, whenever a complex polynomial um, with coefficients a0, uh, a1, and a n has a, a multiple zero. I remark that uh, this property uniquely determines this polynomial up to sign. And there are two possibility, nature possibility to, to choose such a sign. And I will explain uh, what are these possibilities. But I would like to fix, fix this sign. And um, I will um, express this polynomial in this uh, standard form um, using uh, roots of f. So there will be um, 2 n minus 2 power of the um, leading coefficient a n and then the product of uh, all pairs uh, of roots uh, rho i and rho j squared. And of course uh, there is another expression and um, maybe uh, without square but uh, now I uh, consider all possible uh, different uh, differences of roots. So, uh, 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 and the product runs over all pairs uh, i and j, which are not equal to each other. And since we have exactly uh, so many uh, pairs, we will get this sign. And it's si and in some uh, books and textbooks and literature, um, people um, refer to uh, classical. Um, um, I'm going to discriminate with um, this actually sign uh, before. So up to this side, these are some people uh, consider without this sign, and then this expression is more natural. But I would like to work with with the first expression. So this is a convention of the sign. Now looks at. Um, how to compute it. Uh, so in uh, low dimension, one can easily uh, compute uh, this expression using um, a, a theorem of uh, about symmetric functions. So this is a, a computation for um, quadratic polynomial. We'll get uh, this expression. Next uh, will be cubic case. So for cubic polynomial, we get many terms, so we would five um, um, monomials appearing in this polynomial. And of course it can be done uh, by, um, uh, again, by symmet uh, uh, main uh, theorem about symmetric functions. But there is another, uh, uh, oh, but, but with the higher uh, degrees, so this will should be four, excuse me, this is also uh, print. So for polynomials of the degree four, we have, 16 monomials. It's already complicated expression and, and going uh, up, uh, we get more and more compli uh, uh, complicated expression. So the um, idea is probably to get some uh, general overview of this expression for arbitrary degree n. And to do this, um, 
in, in general, there is no uh, a formula, but there are some other ways to uh, get this expression. I also want to mention, this is a formula which expressed um, classical discriminant uh, uh, via resultant of uh, polynomial f and, and, and the derivative uh, f prime. So using this uh, expression, resultant can be expressed as a determinant of some matrix, and one can get ex polynomial expression for this um, uh, discriminant, considering a certain um, quadratic matrix of order two and minus one. And the entries of this um, matrix will depend linearly on the coefficients of a, a of this um, uh, polynomial f and f prime. So. Now I would uh, uh, like to go to some special case. This is a polynomial cons uh, consisting of an only um, top um, term of degree n and uh, a constant term. So this it corresponds to the case when all coefficients um, a1 until uh, and a, 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 a n minus one equals zero. So one can compute um, uh, discriminant of this polynomial using the previous uh, connection to um, a resultant, and and one gets again this coefficient, and then it will be n to the power n, and then the product of um, two powers. So in general, one can say some words about um, properties of this uh, polynomial. Uh, first of all, I already said it's really hard and, it, and there is no any explicit um, general formula for all monomials in the, um, in the disc, uh, classical discriminant. But if we look at first examples that I mentioned above, you can see that um, at least some monomials uh, appear regularly. And these uh, two monomials I would, uh, want to mention one monomial is a, a product of um, variables a, a i squared. And uh, uh, another monomial is, uh, that we have seen already uh, in the previous slide. Uh, this is uh, with this sign n to the power n and then the product of uh, n minus one power of um, constant and the uh, leading uh, coefficient. So this, at least, uh, uh, we can see, and maybe I uh, go uh, and show. So this is this, this term in the polynomial uh, for the case n equals four. This is one, uh, uh, and this is another term. Uh, this corresponds to um, uh, four to the power four with sine plus. In the previous uh, cubic terms, again, we have this um, term, um, product of squares. And here we have um, uh, three to the power three. So with the sign minus, and of course, uh, the beginning we have only these two term, two, the, two to the power uh, two with sign minus and a one square. So this at least um, some, uh, something one can note uh, about um, monomial appearing in this uh, polynomial. But uh, uh, there are some more observations. First of all, uh, we remarked that uh, this, uh, this polynomial uh, satisfied two homogeneity uh, uh, condition and, and symmetry. So the homogeneity con condition appear if we first, for example, multiply the polynomial by some uh, um, some lambda. In this case, all coefficients will be multiplied by lambda. The roots will be unchanged. And one can see that uh, because of this factor, we get um, you know, homogeneity of degree 2n minus 2 for, with respect to such an action of, of you can say, c star uh, acts by lambda, a multiplicative group. Another action comes from the mm, mm, uh, multiplication by uh, some non-zero uh, uh, 
um, integer of um, a variable x. So in, uh, in this case, we can also see what happens with the roots if we will multiply x by lambda, then the, um, um, uh, we have obtained another uh, polynomial with some uh, other coefficients. All coefficients will, uh, will be multiplied by appropriate power of lambda. And the roots, uh, they will be divided by lambda. But if, uh, if we just apply this formula, we see that um, there is also some um, um, factor of power of lambda it is uh, n times n minus one. So it gives a second homogeneity condition, homogeneity condition for, uh, such, uh, for the classical discriminant. And there is a symmetry condition which uh, um, appears if we uh, invert x. So uh, the, one can show that the, um, this equality is satisfied. Again, one can use uh, um, this uh, expression for discriminant. So it uh, remains unchanged. And that means the polynomial that we get um, to be uh, unchanged if we uh, um, rename the uh, um, variables ai, ai by n minus ai, and it, of course, we see this property here. So it's already symmetric. We, uh, it's already symmetric. But here we, we can see uh, there is this monomial, for example. Uh, it's not symmetric in a, um, a very, uh, coefficient. Uh, but, this, uh, but we can uh, apply this uh, symmetry and get from this monomial another monomial by symmetry. So this is a uh, additional information about uh, coefficients of this polynomial. Now I would like to say uh, what, it, uh, what does it mean uh, that we have this homogeneous condition. I, if I write down um, the classical discriminant as a sum, uh, as a linear combination of monomials, so, uh, and the monomials will be um, indexed uh, by, um, integer vectors of length n plus one. So this is k, this integer vector with non-negative uh, um, components. So I can write down discriminant uh, in this form um, with some coefficients. And um, the two homogeneity uh, conditions, they are independent. So they put some uh, restriction on uh, exponent that appear in this expression. So the sum of ki should be um, uh, to, uh, together gives um, to n minus two. And another uh, weighted sum of i ki should be n times n minus one. One can, um, uh, in, so these two uh, expressions, they are not um, symmetric if we change um, uh, i by n minus i. But actually, we can um, replace this um, homogeneity condition, the first homogeneity condition, by another one in, uh, in this form. And then these two homogeneity conditions, they are actually equivalent to the previous one. So then we get two homogeneous conditions. Now, next, uh, I will be interested in um, Newton polytope of the classical discriminant. So that means. Um, I uh, consider all uh, monomials that appear in this discriminant with non-zero coefficients and take the convex hull of all um, integral points, k0, k1, kn in this uh, real vector space on dimension n plus one. And I get um, a convex polytope. So, uh, since uh, uh, this exponent satisfy two linear uh, relation, uh, we will get this uh, exponent on the uh, co-dimension uh, two subspace. So that means the polytope will be uh, leading on the uh, co-dimension two subspace, a fine subspace. And it implies that um, dimensions not um, uh, greater than n minus one, but in fact, uh, uh, it turns out that dimension uh, exactly equal to n minus one. And moreover, uh, I will explain what is known. So this is a famous uh, 
theorem of Gelfan, Kapranov, and Zelivinsky about uh, Newton uh, polytope of this uh, of the classical discriminant. So I already denote this polytope by Pn. It's naturally embedded into uh, n plus one dimensional um, uh, vector space, but it actually contained in the in some subspace of codimension two. So the theorem of Gelfand, Kapranov, and Zelivinsky was obtained about uh, 1990, published in, uh, and then later appeared again uh, in a famous book on discriminants and resultant uh, multidimensional uh, objects are related to this. So uh, the, uh, this polytope is n minus one dimensional cube. Moreover, the vertices um, of this polytope can be explicitly described, and they are in uh, uh, they are in uh, uh, they are in the bijection with all possible subsets i in the set of indices from one to n minus one. So the number of subsets will be exactly including empty and the whole, of course, uh, it, it will be exactly two to the power n minus, n minus one. And as soon as we have chosen such a subset, I uh, write down the uh, S elements uh, just by ordered uh, integer. So we extend this uh, sequence uh, by um, I uh, zero to be one, uh, to be zero, and uh, S plus one to be N. So uh, we, uh, we need it because it may happen that we um, uh, uh, have an, an empty uh, subset, then uh, there is no such an intermediate uh, um, uh, elements, but there will be always this, uh, the beginning um, integer zero and the last one. And then we can uh, define the differences between these um, indices. Um, so LP, which is the uh, um, difference between subsequent uh, integer appearing here. And using any subset I, we can describe a vertex and the monomial explicitly. So uh, how uh, it looks, so we take uh, uh, I, and uh, define the component of these vectors as follows. So the zero component will, uh, uh, and the last component, n component will be, um, will demand special expression where we have difference and should subtract minus, uh, subtract one. And here also difference of something. And the other uh, k comp component, there will be just differences. So, and it, uh, one should consider this uh, component uh, for those uh, uh, that, uh, coefficient that um, um, appear in, um, yeah, also should be P as is here. I'm sorry, misprint. So we get the monomial of the following form. So uh, you can see that this monomial depends on the cho uh, choice of the subset the beginning and uh, the uh, last one has something special, but other, uh, yeah, it's very uh, simple. So this is a monomial corresponding to each uh, choice of a subset of indices in this subset. Then there is a, um, also a formula for the coefficients appearing in this uh, monomial. Uh, these coefficients corresponding to um, uh, subset i is a product of minus one to the power of this uh, nature uh, uh, lp lp minus one divided by two and then it will be lp this uh, integer to the power lp so we have already seen such uh, expressions in in, um, in examples and this is a product of such expression so the, uh, using uh, this theorem, we have we obtain um, 
description of all extreme monomials corresponding to um, vertices of the Newton uh, product. And my uh, first goal of um, to today will be explain uh, how to prove this um, theorem using uh, ideas from tropical geometry. Let me explain. Here. This is a um, maybe illustration of this uh, uh, general statement, uh, illustration for uh, in case of n equals two. So for square uh, quadratic polynomial, we have a set con uh, consisting of only one element and subsets that is either empty or the whole set, so there are only two possibilities to choose. And in case of uh, first choice, uh, we get monomial, which looks like, uh, which co uh, correspond to lattice vector 101. And in, in the second uh, choice, we get a um, uh, lattice point described monomial of this uh, um, uh, form. And one can um, easily see that by formula that I uh, gave you here on this uh, general uh, description. So we get um, um, coefficients, uh, co coefficient um, in the first uh, uh, case, we, we get coefficient minus four A0, uh, A2. Uh, this correspond to this uh, point and uh, corresponding point to uh, second choice, we get uh, one uh, uh, square. So this is uh, um, the case of, and the Newton polytope in this case, it's a, a one dimensional uh, combinatorial one dimensional cube. That, that means it will be segment or interval connecting these two points in the three dimensional uh, vector space. The second case, uh, case I consider this is the um, uh, degree three case. So in this situation, we have um, you know, four possibilities for cho uh, choosing a subset in, uh, inside uh, in, in the set consisting of one and two. So these are four possibilities of choice and corresponding to these possibilities, we will get uh, four, um, uh, monomials with uh, a proper uh, coefficients that correspond to vertices of the polytope. There is a fifth monomial with coefficient um, um, 18, but it corresponds to the interior lattice point of this polytope. And I will uh, give a picture of this polytope. It looks uh, like a, so there are two. Uh, this is a vertex, uh, and this is another vertex. These are other two, and this is interior point. So this is a, this is a picture. If I project the lattice, or, so the, the, actually the polytope um, uh, lives in a four-dimensional space, but I can um, uh, uh, choose uh, this, uh, this uh, subspace of co-dimension two and choose a basis of the lattice of this uh, subspace. So in, with respect to basis of this sub lattice, I can express all integer point uh, as a linear combination. And it turns out that uh, these two vectors, um, uh, they form a basis of this um, sub, sub, uh, subspace. The other two not, uh, uh, and, uh, so this is a single uh, point where uh, uh, outgoing, uh, um, um, edges uh, form a basis of this uh, sub, uh, sub lattice. So I like this point and I will explain why it's important later. So this is a polytope. So now uh, uh, I would like to explain a tropical proof of the um, uh, gelfanko prana zelivinsky theorem. Sometimes again, I have some double points here. So we will choose uh, now, a general linear function on this uh, n plus one dimensional space will be denoted by phi. And linear, that means so it's a lin uh, linear combination. Um, and of, of variables xi, and I would like to use uh, coefficients to be non negative um, integer, just 
in integral uh, linear function. Then um, this linear function can be minimized on the polytope which contained in this space. So, and in order to get a vertex uh, of the polytope Pn, I will minimize uh, this linear function um, on all monomials that appear in this uh, 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 appear in um, uh, so if I if I want to minimize uh, a function so that it actually uh, 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 comes uh, from the mon uh, monomials that appear in the expression of um, the uh, determinant. So if I substitute uh, instead of ai, uh, um, mi power of variable t. So then I should actually uh, take a variation, better to say, because in degree it's, it's a non Archimedean uh, variation, uh, of the value of discriminant. Uh, uh, that uh, of the polynomial uh, uh, that up, uh, I obtained at, after substitution uh, ai uh, equals t to the power mi um, in uh, this polynomial. So this is the um, idea of the uh, tropical uh, proof. So and as soon as I uh, know the degree of the uh, so that means the minimal uh, uh, the degree uh, with respect to non-Archimedean variation of this uh, discriminant, I can uh, catch um, uh, a point uh, vertex of this discriminant. And as soon as I know this uh, point uh, uh, where this linear function, uh, so the uh, vertex of poly uh, polytope P and on, uh, on which a linear function attains uh, uh, its minimum, so I can also compute the coefficient. And to, for computing coefficient, I can uh, just uh, divide this uh, expression uh, substitution by corresponding power of t and takes the limit uh, t goes to, to z. So this is a very classical in nature way to, uh, uh, to do. And there is a also classical way to, uh, to realize uh, this procedure. So the procedure, so this is what, uh, yeah, uh, as I said, the, um, uh, the for uh, general choice of phi, the minimal, uh, minimum uh, uh, of this linear function will, will be attained um, uh, exactly on one vertex. And this vertex uh, can, uh, defines a monomial and uh, in order to, to find coefficient, I, I just have to, uh, to substitute in, uh, discriminant and divide. Uh, and take a limit. So this is now how to compute it re, uh, 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 actually. Uh, for this, I uh, consider polynomial in two variables, uh, t and x. So then now I uh, consider only two variables, um, and um, but uh, the coefficients was um, uh, will be co coming from the co um, coefficient of the linear function phi that I considered on a previous uh, slide. So actually what I uh, need, I need to, uh, to consider this special um, uh, polynomial depending on the choice of exponent m0, m1, mn, and evaluate um, uh, non-Archimedean uh, um, uh, um, valuation uh, on, the, on the discriminant. So, uh, so the, for the ge generic, uh, for the sufficiently general choice of this uh, coefficient mi. So, for for such a, a general choice of coefficient, I know that the polynomial uh, uh, f t of x um, has exactly n roots, a complex roots, and moreover, I can uh, really mm, get um, a local expression of these roots using um, uh, piezo power series. So um, a fractional power series. So we can, uh, and as soon as I uh, 
have such an expression for each root, I can apply uh, this uh, um, first formula for classical discriminant. And here I have a product. So uh, here I have a differences and uh, it's not difficult to know valuation of roots uh, to, the, uh, to compute uh, uh, valuation of the whole expression as a function of t. And in order to uh, evaluate um, uh, uh, all these uh, factors that appear in this expression, I apply this uh, also classical uh, of 19th century method, uh, at least um, Newton Puse me method for, com for uh, computing um, um, roots. So what it says, it uh, needs um, uh, to construct a Newton diagram of the polynomial in two, uh, of two, in two variables, uh, t and x. So we start with this polynomial, what is a Newton diagram? So it's not the same as Newton polytopes, this is some, some polyhedral um, 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 domain, uh, which is unbounded. So it's a convex how of a vertical race, um, uh, Ri that we can obtain as soon as you have from um, exponent of the uh, these polynomials. So uh, there will be uh, uh, exactly n plus one arrays uh, in, in vertical di uh, direction. They, uh, each array uh, is um, the set of uh, points over uh, uh, integer i and y. Uh, varies uh, starting from ni. So we get some polyhedral um, domain, but there is there are some vertices of this polyhedral uh, domain, and we uh, use uh, the vertices of this polyhedral domain. So we assume that, uh, so, uh, that uh, 0 m0 uh, i 1 m i on etc. This is a set of vertices of this uh, polyhedral domain, and as soon as we have, uh, as soon as we know this polyhedral domain, we can uh, define special uh, rational numbers de depending on this uh, di diagram. Uh, they are called slopes of the Newton diagram. So this is a, a difference between this um, um, uh, neighbor. Um, um, uh, first coordinate divide, divided by the uh, 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 first uh, second values divided by uh, difference of co uh, first coordinates. So it should be a uh, uh, Q, so a rational number, it's a rational number. And we, uh, and these uh, thoughts, they are ordered in natural way because we uh, took a convex house. So the, um, uh, uh, I can uh, shortly express uh, this um, this diagram like something like so. This way, and it will be up, up. So, so the slope will be uh, next slope will be strictly larger than the previous one. So this is uh, what I uh, mean. It's the, now, uh, as soon as I have uh, this uh, um, method to, um, uh, to, to the diagram, I can uh, evaluate uh, um, the non archimedean uh, value of, um, of roots. So the theorem uh, says that the polynomial uh, that's from the Newton uh, uh, diagram uh, with slopes alpha zero, alpha one, alpha s, we can uh, uh, obtain uh, uh, roots of the, our polynomial. So, and this root starts with uh, some um, uh, unity roots from, of minus one from of degree uh, LJ, the, where LJ is a difference of um, uh, appearing in the um, denominator. So, and, and, it's, and it looks like as follows. So the T 
uh, to the power of minus a j, one plus some um, other terms. So we can uh, uh, can uh, take this as a uh, 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 to evaluate um, non-Archimedean evaluation on on such a uh, such a rule. So one can uh, know uh, uh, that. There exist exactly two n minus one combinatorially different types of Newton diagrams uh, for our polynomial FTX. So, and these uh, diagrams actually uh, uh, catch uh, each diagram catch a special uh, integral uh, let um, extremal um, vertex of the uh, Newton polytope of the discriminant. So there is, uh, moreover, we can also say that um, this kind of um, diagrams, they uh, define one-to-one um, -one correspond to some subdivision of um, uh, interval zero and n into some um, union of uh, as interval of length Li. So this is, uh, uh, this, uh, this property, Actually, in the book of uh, Gelfand Kaplan Zelivinsky, uh, has uh, discussed has been discussed in much more uh, larger um, context, and uh, and I say some words about uh, it uh, a, a little bit later. So now I would like to uh, to uh, to explain the meaning of some special monomial that I already uh, showed you. Um, at the beginning, so this is a product of um, uh, all uh, um, coefficient a one a until n minus one squared. It appears with coefficient one, and the, the reason is that um, the subdivision of the integral from zero to n here will be uh, uh, consists of n interval of length one, and this is why we don't have um, this larger power. N to the power k to the power k uh, that usually uh, appeared uh, in some other coefficients. Here this is a very very um, um, uh, uh, small sub the uh, smallest subdivision that we can um, uh, do uh, with such an interval. So and uh, uh, fr from the result that I um, formulated uh, using uh, explicit um, Co coordinate of uh, all vertices of the Newton polytope, one can see that uh, we get um, um, a combinatorial cube. That means it will be a simple polytope in each vertex will, uh, uh, of this polytope there will be um, uh, um, n minus uh, one edges or n minus one facet coming to this. Uh, and uh, also uh, the same happens to this very special point. So there are uh, to this uh, n minus one facet uh, of the polytope, which contains this uh, very special um, uh, lattice point, lattice vertex of this uh, uh, Newton polytope. Now, um, I would like to define um, truncation of discriminant to such a phase. What means truncation? That may, uh, we uh, consider not all monomials that appear in this uh, uh, general expression, but only those that belongs to this uh, phase gamma i. I uh, runs from one to n minus one. There will be n, uh, exactly so many um, uh, um, uh, faces, and then uh, so uh, we get a, a polynomial. Uh, uh, containing uh, less monomials, only those that belongs to this um, uh, to this space, gamma i, we call this truncation to this space. So what is uh, the theorem? And uh, now I would like to, to say that there is a nice theorem of Michalchen and Sieg. They proved uh, a factorization property of the truncated um, discriminant. So for any i that we choose, uh, if we uh, restrict the discriminant on the phase gamma i, we'll get um, 
a polynomial which uh, decomposed as a product, well, here will be I um, mm, squared. And this is a poly, uh, discriminant, classical discriminant uh, based on the coefficient zero until AI. And here it's uh, also classical discriminant, but comp uh, complementary uh, uh, IJ, uh, uh, AI and QN. So in order to um, see uh, this property, I will suggest uh, let's go to maybe the, uh, some uh, examples. So and um, here I gave an example of um, um, a Newton poly talk for uh, the case of cubic equation. So the point that I'm interested in is, is exactly point uh, here. And the facet that I, I want to consider, these are these two facets, one facet and this facet. And you can see that if we look um, uh, monomials that appear in this uh, face, then actually uh, this is uh, up to some multiple. So we can uh, um, uh, uh, take uh, one squared. It will be exactly discriminant of one low uh, um, uh, this, uh, of, low, of one low degree. So if we, we go to quadratic po um, uh, uh, polynomial, it will be um, uh, it will be two squared minus uh, product uh, a one and uh, uh, four minus four a one a three. So but there will be some additional factor uh, a one uh, squared up to this uh, this factor we get uh, the discriminant of uh, uh, polynomial of degree two. The same also happens here. Uh, here will be uh, all, uh, the factor that uh, additional factor will be uh, a two squared. So uh, we can uh, um, uh, uh, Michalkin and um, Sich they uh, discovered this property just experimentally and check it first uh, um, until uh, degree six. Uh, uh, so this is the decomposition property, but then they uh, found a, a proof in, in, in general. Well, what I want to say, I would like to explain the meaning of uh, uh, this uh, uh, decomposition, because for, um, uh, for me, uh, this, uh, so, so, yeah, at first sign, it's not clear why such a uh, decomposition uh, should, uh, uh, should be expected. So let's go to uh, uh, right already. Ah, yeah. Yes. Uh, first of all, I would like to say here uh, it's better. Uh, it's a reformulation of um, uh, of the previous example that you have seen on the previous uh, slide. Here I uh, go from homogeneous uh, um, uh, form of the discriminant into inhomogeneous form. And actually this inhomogeneous form can be uh, done in um, uh, for an arbitrary degree. So there are some coefficients, uh, some uh, natural expressions that um, can be used uh, to express uh, to dehomogenize uh, uh, these homogeneous um, um, polynomials. So in the case of uh, cubic, uh, we uh, can uh, easily see if we divide uh, this monomial by this monomial, then we, uh, then we will get um, an expression. So it's, uh, we get uh, uh, fractional uh, monomial, but of very sp uh, special type. Uh, let me say uh, how it is. So it will be like uh, one a three and uh, yes a two squared. If we divide the first one. Uh, 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 by this one, the same. The same uh, for uh, so, and, and I will denote it by x one. And actually, one can do it uh, in general. We take um, uh, square of some um, 
co intermediate coefficient and divided by uh, two uh, product of two neighbor. So it will be, uh, so in general it will be like coefficients uh, a i squared on here will be. So this uh, expression of coefficients they uh, are nice with respect to two homogeneity conditions that we already have seen uh, uh, um, at the beginning. Of the so uh, in terms of this um, uh, new coordinates, we can better work uh, with um, and to express uh, our new, uh, Newton polytope, etc. But now, now I would like to say um, uh, important thing. So this polytope that we'll get, actually, it's a part of uh, a larger polytope. And I would like to uh, explain what is the larger polytope. So we have to go to this, this, then we go to this, and it will be, uh, sorry. <sighs> sorry that I, I would like uh, to, to draw a six cone, and this six cone at actually uh, a six cone uh, should be very symmetric with the symmetry group. Maybe if, if I, um, in order uh, to, I, I better um, close uh, this and use my um, possibility to, to use my blackboard. So if it works, let me put, um, yes, um, this is my blackboard and I would come and I would like to, no, not, um, it's not, 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 not. Uh, it was working just now, I think. I, I, I would like to, to put something strange that I... Something strange that I cannot open my boarding uh, board. So whatever you did, it was just working, I think. Yeah, I'll, uh, maybe I will go, go back to, to, uh, to the, um, uh, to the purpose. So um, uh, uh, here I, uh, uh, I will do it uh, uh, again, but maybe more ac accurately. So I would like to say that um, this uh, poly, Newton polytope, actually, actually it uh, um, can be completed by uh, six uh, other, uh, five other um, uh, similar uh, lattice polytope to a permutahedron. And this permutahedron is actually um, a Minkowski sum of, um, of roots of our, uh, of, of type A, uh, take uh, roots of uh, type A2. So for A2, we have uh, two roots. So let's consider uh, now uh, this uh, vector, this vector, and this vector, and take the uh, Minkowski sum, uh, double Minkowski sum of, uh, of these three segments. If we take a double Minkowski sum, we will get um, a six gone of of this uh, type, this will be two-dimensional permutahedron. This is polytope um, with the action of this symmetric group um, S3. Uh, and our um, uh, Newton polytope was a part of this permutahedron if we just connect with the, this. So, but uh, the permutahedron defines um, 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 toic variety. 
uh, in for for, a, for root system uh, a um, uh, of uh, a uh, n permodulation uh, permod uh, and uh, system n minus one uh, permodulation uh, defines the toric varieties with the action of uh, the group um, S n. This is so called uh, lossive manning space moduli space. It's very famous space in the sense that uh, um, some um, traces of this space uh, have been found in the uh, um, uh, in some article of uh, Leonard A. Euler. Uh, uh, this, uh, so in an implicit way, this was an observation of uh, Hirzebrug. He wrote uh, 2008 um, uh, uh, a short paper concerning this. Um, um, Leonard Euler uh, had uh, 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 considered this uh, um, uh, very implicitly uh, in connection to uh, zeta rim zeta function and properties. So at the same uh, uh, um, time, uh, implicitly, uh, Euler considered uh, also another toic variety corresponding to uh, system B n. So now I uh, explain uh, uh, relation of this uh, uh, polytope to system A n. There is both also uh, B n, and there is also uh, uh, a toric modular space um, considered in my uh, joint paper with uh, Mark Blumer. So we consider also other uh, root systems, but uh, the modular space uh, turns out to, uh, to be good uh, only for the, this case. And this uh, case, um, exactly this case, was a uh, second um, uh, uh, candidate uh, uh, considered by Euler and mentioned by um, uh, Hirzebrug. Um, so what I, uh, my uh, dream was to generalize uh, everything what I already uh, explained about classical discriminant of type A n minus one to the case of uh, B n. So there is also polytope, so there is also, but um, the point is uh, I actually, I don't know how to describe, uh, how to write down discriminant. I know the Newton polytope of this discriminant, but I don't know how to, uh, to, to, to define and to write it explicitly. Although there is some candidate for this. So, uh, uh, and uh, unfortunately, I don't have time uh, to uh, say more. Well, this is, uh, and there is also some uh, an expectation about decomposition. There, so there will be uh, the structure of this, uh, um, uh, of the corresponding part of this um, symmetric uh, uh, polytope, uh, defining torque variety. It will be a, a part uh, invariant under the while. Uh, group. So the, um, the structure will be so that um, maybe I, I, I look uh, at the loss of minus space. So what is uh, remarkable for this toric variety, if we look divisors on the toric variety, then that uh, divisor of this uh, toric variety uh, can be described by facet, and this facet turns out to be product can be, uh, Isomorphic to product of um, mm, loss of man in spaces of low dimensional case. So that means um, if we say we have um, um, face it uh, for the case n minus one, then then will be uh, then will be in the corresponding loss of man space n minus uh, it's compactified. Uh, so the uh, the um, face of this uh, permutahedron described by a polytope, which uh, correspond to the product of I times L minus I, if I'm not mistaken, minus one. So, so this is a property uh, of modular spaces. It also happens uh, in other uh, cases of in famous modular spaces of uh, um, Manfred Knudsen, the description of the uh, boundary. 
And exactly this uh, property of the model space is responsible for the composition property of discriminant because uh, these two uh, uh, parts of the Newton polytopes, they are act actually um, a half of this uh, co-dimensional one phases on the uh, corresponding relative man in spaces. So, so, so the, behind this uh, decomposition uh, of um, uh, uh, factorization of um, truncated um, discriminant, uh, leaves uh, this property of uh, uh, divisors on the lots of money modular space. I think my time is over. I, I stop. So thank you for your attention. Okay, let's use the occasion to uh, thank Victor either by writing in the chat or by applauding or hitting the applause button. And um, now we uh, can ask any questions we would have about the talk. Well, yeah. Can I ask a question? Yes. Um, so you say you don't know what to put for the discriminant of BN, but oh, I, mean, I have, have a candidate, but I don't know. I'm not sure. But you have this uh, Arnold's boundary singularities, it's type A, B, C, D. So a n is just the, the polynomial of degree n plus one, right? What you've got here, but then b n you consider at, um, uh, what he calls boundary singularities, and then you also have discriminant that's described in singularity theory uh, precisely, also for all the all the lead types. Yes, but um, uh, I don't think that it's exactly the discriminant I am looking for. So that's not the right thing. Uh, I, th I, I, I think that not. Uh, I, because it, uh, for me, it's very important, very special coordinates in order to express this discriminant in, in a nice way. So, and also I uh, want to, uh, to use connection to, uh, uh, to torque varieties. I would like to obtain the Newton polytope uh, of this um, uh, discriminant in such a, in the same way as for um, a n minus one case, and I believe that in the case of singularities, nobody uh, knows about such a thing, and it, it's it, it's very subtle, and and I'm not sure that it even works for other for, uh, series of or d n or. Uh, exceptional cases. So I'm, but for B N, I'm very, uh, very, very I, I'm convinced that it, it's such a, such a um, uh, generalization exists uh, for many reasons. I already uh, mentioned that there is a, um, um, a toic variety, very not natural toic variety, uh, um, which had structure of fine modular space with this. Uh, most, most absolutely uh, similar to the case of um, um, lossless money space. Such a structure for other root systems doesn't work. And um, moreover, I consider, um, I can say that this treatment that I consider, um, they, it comes actually from um, deleting uh, from some uh, toric arrangement corresponding to, to the corresponding root system. Toric arrangement, that it means I, I will delete from um, torus, uh, uh, maximal torus, uh, some um, uh, divisors uh, uh, um, ca coming through, through the unit element of this torus, uh, described by um, kernel of characters. And the character, I, I, I mean, uh, I, uh, take um, root uh, elements of the root system. So if we take product of all, so the analog where uh, would be, uh, I consider the product of uh, um, one minus uh, such over all uh, elements of the roots uh, of roots and express um, 
uh, this uh, product, he will be already uh, every root comes twice, so it will be uh, okay. And express this product as um, a polynomial function in some basis of uh, uh, invariant um, uh, function on the torus. And of course, there is a possibility to, to do it if one has, uh, if one takes um, uh, irreducible uh, uh, fundamental representation. So fundamental representation for the case a n, they are, are um, 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 which uh, uh, powers of the standard representation and the corresponding uh, weights, uh, their uh, elementary symmetric uh, function. But for b n, uh, there is a special fundamental representation which comes from a spin representation. So it's a special point. And then uh, the decomposition uh, that I expect will be as follows. So we, we have uh, this uh, di diagram and the composition uh, depending on the choice of uh, elements of this diagram. Then the, uh, the, uh, then the corresponding um, factors of discriminant, uh, one, uh, one is responsible to this uh, leg and another for uh, another. This will be just a low dimensional a n case, uh, and here will be all dimensional B A case. So the, the composition of the discriminant of B, trunca truncated discriminant will be a product of two discriminants of B and A type. That is what I expect. Uh, for the A uh, case, uh, um, uh, um, the truncation uh, comes from the splitting uh, uh, usual root system um, uh, by choosing some, uh, some uh, some lattice point and it uh, and it cuts uh, the system into uh, complementary so so and uh, and then the, uh, this complementary uh, uh, connected uh, components they are responsible to discriminant of low, a classical uh, discriminant of uh, low degree but here will be a little bit different and what I succeeded to do uh, I uh, considered um, mirror symmetry and I related this um, to um, uh, singularities first for A cases so we can consider um, abelian quotient singularities we take a um, let me uh, make a little bit more uh, place uh, uh, so I can uh, I can uh, look at uh, a uh, n case uh, so the classical case from the point of mirror symmetry uh, and consider um, minimal resolution of a exactly a, a and singularity and the minimal resolution um, uh, it will correspond to sp uh, smooth um, uh, some point but there are some partial resolution and the structure of uh, all intermediate resolution of um, of the singularity of types um, uh, of, of type, uh, sorry. so I can consider the case uh, a, uh, mm, uh, a, a n. So that means I I, I divide the c, c, c to the power two by uh, uh, the group of or n plus one cyclic group. So uh, the resolution of this is exactly what uh, you mentioned. Uh, but this is another uh, an, another look at um, uh, discriminant. There is a mirror symmetric, uh, and well, something similar happens if we take p um, three and divide by uh, some uh, action of the uh, group of uh, odd order. So. If for this case we we have a segment divided by uh, uh, of length uh, zero n, here we have a triangle triangle uh, lattice triangle of the following type. So we can, I will run here. this is triangle, and here we have uh, points. So if we take a three dimension uh, two dimensional uh, lattice triangle, then uh, it describes uh, some uh, quotient singularity by mirror symmetry. At the same, it's also described, it can be considered as a Newton polytope of the 
some high, hyper elliptic uh, curve of degree of genus n. So, and uh, well, there is a, a, a discriminant uh, according to Gaifan Kapranov's Zelensky method. And this discriminant has some uh, expected um, tra uh, truncated factorization. So the Newton polytope of this discriminant also is a um, combinatorial cube of dimension and, and, and et cetera. But this is not, the, uh, uh, this is not uh, what I want to, to, to obtain for Vn, unfortunately. It's, uh, it imitates it's some kind of variation of this, uh, but, but not. So I think my time is, is over. Yeah, um, there's another question in the chat window, so I'm just going to read it out. Uh, if we move the coefficients of the discriminant around the permutahedron, we obtain an interesting SN invariant polynomial. What is its significance? So, uh, uh, if we move... Uh, uh, so, if we move the coefficients of the discriminant around in the permutahedron, we obtain an interesting SN invariant polynomial. What is its uh, significance? Does it have a significance? Well, yeah. Um, okay. So the complement of discriminant usually is interesting. So um, uh, uh, if, for example, you consider um, toic variety corresponding to this, um, and uh, the, uh, delete from this toic variety not only boundary divisor from positive money. Space, but also um, the uh, uh, divisors in the torus uh, determined by a kernel of uh, characters coming from uh, roots, then uh, the, the complement uh, uh, will be anurami, uh, uh, covers unramified the complement of this classical discriminant. So that means, um, and moreover, this uh, complement. Uh, before factorization, it's actually uh, uh, the space uh, M zero N. This is a uh, modular space of uh, uh, pointed uh, uh, curves. So that it, that means that the loss of minus space. It's a, a co compactification of this space, but not so nice as uh, the link Manfred uh, compactification, uh, uh, com compactification, because the divisor may happen not be in the uh, normal crossing. There might be many div several divisors uh, um, um, coming from uh, to the same. So like three curves, uh, uh, boundary curves uh, coming from the same point. But nevertheless, the complement uh, is, is very nice, uh, very important uh, uh, object. And the same happens also for Bn. So if you delete um, uh, from torus uh, all uh, kernels of these uh, roots, you get a fine variety, and this a fine variety can, uh, has an, an interpretation of uh, um, uh, configuration space. This is that means I I think that discriminant important from point of view uh, it, it describes some uh, should comp the complement to discriminant a, a lot of uh, number theoretical information, even number theoretical because uh, one knows that uh, this uh, model space. Is related to uh, um, uh, multi uh, uh, so that, uh, general, uh, special values of um, data function so uh, um, multi dimensional data function the same also uh, probably works uh, he also here and uh, it's not it's not shouldn't be a coincidence that uh, Ola considered the case B N. So implicitly, implicitly he considered. Mm -hmm. Okay. In yeah. the paper devoted to a data function. Yeah.